What's up guys, Justin here with TheRenderingEssentials.com back with another Lumion tutorial for you. So in today's video, we're gonna talk about one of the brand new features in Lumion 9, the real skies. So let's go ahead and just jump into it. So this is actually a model, I've done a video using this model before, but this is basically a model that came out of the SketchUp 3D warehouse and has been um, imported into Lumion and I've done a little bit of optimization, not a ton, um, but today I wanted to, and I will link to that in the notes down below, today I wanted to talk about about the new real skies function. So this is one of the highlight features of Lumion 9 and it basically brings in a bunch of high definition HDR images that you can use as backgrounds. And so you're gonna access those by going into your photo mode by clicking on photo. And then within that, there's actually a new effect in here called real skies and you can find it under weather and climate. So when you click on that, there's a bunch of different options for different kinds of skies that are in there. So I think they're all from Polygon and they're all really high quality. I think that may be part of Lumion's strategy is to kind of curate really good content. Um, I don't know, I don't believe you can bring in your own HDRI files right now or your own HDR files, files right now, but you can click on any of these and bring them in as a background. And the nice thing about these is since these are HDR images, you can actually rotate them and you can affect your light by using the heading function. So you can see I can click and drag this and this is rotating that, that uh, HDR file in the background. You can adjust the brightness as well as the overall brightness in your scene using these sliders. And you can also flip the HDR image. So if you want it to go the other way, you can click on that option as well. But that gives you a whole bunch of great options for different things that you can create in here. You can see how this is ultra realistic. It really gives you a really, it really gives you a great view of the sun coming over the ridge. There's also options in here for like sunsets. So if you wanted things to have more of a red tint, um, there's lighting options in here for that. You can see how those are gonna create create that different color in here. So it really creates great. So the images you can create using these are just super realistic. Um, I'm really liking this function as well as how easy it is to use. I don't have to go in and mess around with like scaling or anything like that. Um, they just, you just bring them in and then you can rotate them to get the look that you're going for. So I'm a big fan of this feature. If you have Lumion 9, you should go check this out. I will note that this is a pro only feature. So this is something that's only available in the pro version. But that's just another thing that makes the pro version um, really the more valuable option within Lumion. So let's say I was to take one. So once I have a view that I like, I can go in and click render photo. And go ahead and give it a name and let this render out. And as you can see, the sky looks ultra realistic in the background. It looks really good. I'm really a big fan of this feature. So that's where I'm going to end this video. Leave a comment below. Let me know what you thought. Is this a feature that you're interested in? I just love having that conversation with you guys. If you like this video, please remember to click that like button down below. If you're new around here, remember to click that subscribe button for new rendering content every week. As always, thank you so much for taking the time to watch this. I really appreciate it, and I will catch you in the next video. Thanks, guys.